Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. This time I'll show you how to get started with mini stack development by installing Node and creating a sample express application. Before we start, make sure to install Visual Studio Code in your computer by navigating to visualstudio.microsoft.com and select Visual Studio Code from the list of available products. We will use this tool to edit our application code. The first step for getting started in Ministack development is to download and install Node.js and NPM. Node.js is a web server platform and NPM is a package manager that will help us install all the necessary modules to configure and run our applications. NPM will be installed automatically when installing Node.js. To download it, let's navigate to nodejs.org to get the latest version available. In this case, 16.1.0. Once the download is done, open the file and complete the installation. After the installation is complete, open the command prompt and verify the installation by entering the following commands. Note dash dash version and npm dash dash version. If everything is all right, we will see the corresponding version numbers. To create a new application and is still on the command prompt, type in mkdir and then the name of a folder where we will have our application created. Afterwards, type in cd and then the name of the folder that you created. This way we will navigate to our newly created folder. Now inside of this folder type in npm init and this will walk you through the creation of a package.json file to configure the application. So you must enter the relevant data in this case package name we will leave it at my new app version we will leave that as 1.0.0 description This is a sample express application. Entry point, we'll leave the default value. We can leave the test command empty. Same for the Git repository. No keywords in this case. Enter your name as the author. Leave the default license and confirm by typing yes. Once that is done, we can open Visual Studio Code directly from the command prompt by typing in code space period. Now, as you can see, we have generated a package.json file, which includes information about our Node.js application. Now we can install Express, which is our web application framework to generate an application template. We can do that in Visual Studio Code as well, instead of going back to the command prompt. 
click on terminal in the top menu and then new terminal this will open a terminal window at the bottom of our IDE pointing to the current folder now to install Express in our application folder we will use npm by typing in npm install the name of the package which is express and then the option dash dash save we can verify the installation of express in our project by looking at the package.json file under dependencies we will see express the name of the module we installed and a version after this we need to create a new file called server.js that will be the configuration file for our application the first two lines export the express module and create an app We will then specify our port and this is the port number which the application will be listening to. Afterwards we will add our first route and this is the function that the application will execute when a request to the root folder is made. Here we are just returning um, a message. And lastly, we will need to call app.listen to tell the app to start listening to the specified port above. Now that everything is set up, we can run the application by going to the terminal and entering npm start. And if everything went well, we will see our message here as a verification that the application is running. To test your application, go back to your browser, open a new tab, and navigate to localhost column 3000. And remember, this is the port number we have specified in server.js. If you see the message, you are done. We created a basic application template using Express. I hope this video is useful. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.